Hello, Miss Minions. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I cut my hair. Remember, it used to go all the way down to my waist. So I cut about six inches off. And I also cut my bangs, which I do not like. So I'll just keep them to the side, like I used to have. Okay, so today's video, Milk Snake. We're going to talk about Milk Snake enclosures. So I'm going to take you through a little tour of Olivia's, and I forgot to put on lip gloss. So I'm going to take you through a little tour through Olivia's enclosure. It's a 10 gallon, and this is how I set her up right now. Uh, she's still a baby. Well, I guess she's more like a juvenile, but she'll always be a baby in my eyes. A baby in my eyes. I cannot speak always <laughs> when filming. Uh, I got her when she was about a month old, and now she is going on six months. And now she eats two pinky mice. So, yeah, I'm going to show you her closure, and let's get started. <laughs> this is my milk snake setup. It's a 10 gallon, which is perfectly fine for babies and juveniles. And Olivia is about six months. So, first of all, you need, of course, your container. This is the 10 gallon aquarium. They don't need any special lights, but a heat light will be good, like this. So you're going to need a warm side, which is right here, and then the cool side. For the warm side, you want to keep it around 80 to 88. The cool side, around 78. So let's just go in. For humidity, you want to keep it between 40 to 60. Now with Olivia, she's in her little hidey. Let me see if I can get it in there. She's in her little hidey right now. I see you, baby girl. With her, she has a huge trouble shedding. So I keep the humidity here pretty high. And that has really helped her. This little humidity box does wonders. No, oh, I see you. Are you going to come out? Come say hi. Look at her little tongue. <laughs> I'll get her out in a moment. So yeah, a humidity hide works great for shedding when they're stuck. I got this little panda bear in there. Little sparks and spiral. You also need a water dish. You're going to need a water dish at all times because they do drink and some snakes actually go in the water dish to soak. You know, mine never do because they're weird. Substrate. This is what I use. You can also use cypress mulch or florist floor bedding. It's one and the same. Now, florist floor bedding helps with humidity, and that's what I used to have, but I changed it out and I ran out, so I put some of this aspen bedding in there. I can't remember what the name of this is, but it's aspen. It's just cut differently. All right, let me get Olivia out. And here she is. An adult will need a 20 gallon tank and they get about 42 inches and she is an albino Nelson milk snake. She was so tiny when I got her. Now she's about, let's say about 12 inches. And she is beautiful. Yes you are, look how beautiful you are. The camera will focus. There you go. As I, said, she, as I said, she had trouble shedding, and here, if you can see, she has missing pigments. Okay, see right here? That's from shedding. She has missing pigments. It used to be a lot worse, but it's, it's healed quite nice. And that's when I first got her the first month. She had two terrible sheds. And then ever since I added the humidity box, she is good. Mm-hmm. Pretty girl. <laughs> Olivia. She's so weird like that. And right now she eats two frozen thawed pinky mice. Alright, so again, heat lamp. Humidity hide for the cool side. Some hides for the warm side. And this is also a nighttime bulb for nighttime heat, which I just changed the bulb out. 
Have 20 gallon for when they're adults. I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, they're pretty simple. Corn snakes are the easiest. And then I would say milk snakes. And then pythons would be on the more difficult side. Alright, that's it. That is my setup. And Olivia went away. So that was Olivia's setup. I hope this video was able to help somebody if they're new to milk snakes or if just want to better their enclosure. Uh, as always, if you see anything wrong with my enclosure or a way I can improve, let me know down in the comments. So we're here to help each other, no matter what. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video if it helped or if you just like snakes because you think they're cute. Um, if you want to see more uh, info about snakes and other reptiles and fish, then subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. And do not feed your milk snake milk. Because even though their name is milk snake, they don't drink milk. <laughs> when I cook this stuff. <laughs>